sentences, but the Schmidt blueprint, Bernard, I mean, it involves this incredible attention to detail. Now, go on to your, your, your phrase, work-ons. I mean, what's that, what, what does that consist of when it comes to the relationship between coach and player? Well, I think he's very clear in what he wants of players. So he knows every position inside out, um, and he knows how certain players need to fit into his strategy. And he's able to give you, he's an encyclopedia-like uh, uh, memory for games you've played in the past and also opposition. So he will give guys a clear idea of what they need to improve, what they're good at, you know, but also what they need to improve and what he wants to see them when they play for the provinces. And then he'll come back to them and say, listen, you know, you've, you've done those first three things, but you need to work on two more. Mm. Um, and I suppose that's very rare that you have a coach. Usually guys are specialists, backs, forwards, defence. He just seems to know everything mm. inside out. And I think players like that, the clarity he gives them about what their role and responsibility is when they play for Ireland. But they have to do it for the province first. And that's, that's he thing. spends time out in the field with the guys. That's probably the key. He's, I suppose, the manager type role of, of a lot of these teams. He's out there coaching, really getting stuck in. And that attention to detail you talk about, demanding the players. So he's in your ear quite close mm. to you, telling you what he wants. If you're too high in a rock, if you give a silly pass, he's out mm. on the pitch with you. And I think that's the key with Joe Schmidt. He wants that detail, but he's, he's close to the action when you're training and he's trying to progress the individual, yeah. isn't he? And also, we know his methods work because they've worked with Leinster and with a lot of these players. Mm -hmm. He made them pass, catch and finish better. Mm -hmm. He made them much more attention to detail and, and more like performance driven, more tactical, sure. less dependent on this big emotional energy that Irish teams tend to take. And he changed mindsets as much as anything else. He made Leinster become comfortable being favourites. But there's a games. little bit more pressure on him now sure. that mm -hmm. November is mm -hmm. down, the betting in period, he would have had a little bit of time, a couple of mini camps, mm. players are coming out of Heineken, a lot of them in good form, which is a, a very, you know, gives a lot of optimism for the mm. Six Nation. So there's pressure on now. But in terms of the public perception of him then, I mean, obviously, the rugby Leinster were playing at their peak in the last five or six years was fantastic rugby, but there's a lot less frills. I mean, he's more of a pragmatist maybe than he's given credit for. Well, he leaves it up to the individual then to, to kind of show their flair, their talent. If you do the basics well in rugby, the collisions, the breakdown, defensively you're good, your kick chase, it sounds quite simple, but a lot of teams, that's where they let down, that's where their performance lets them down, they lose matches. I think he wants all that stuff right yeah. and then it's I up think to he gives individual. players phenomenal confidence because he analyzes the opposition so well, they prepare so well. Yeah. Each session finishes yeah. on a high, it's intense, it's fast, it's mm. high tempo. So he, as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday build mm. on, confidence starts You're to seep in. You're going towards a specific end. He's very process focused yeah. early in the week right. and then he realizes about the outcome. And, and the, you need that detail but you also need a bit of dog as well. Mm. And I think that's mm. where he's different than a lot of coaches. You have a lot of coaches who can see the overall plan, they understand pod systems. They're trying where. to do games plans exactly. before they do the yeah. basics yeah. well. He he's does the basics really well and then the game plan flows after. Players him. believe in him because he's right yeah. most of the time. For sure. Remember that Stade Francais game, the Amman Challenge yeah. Cup final with the three tries, the, the, his three we prepared earlier, yeah. all straight off the training ground. Mm. Yeah, and Jerry, the other point yeah. about him, I mean you get players who are not even involved in the Irish squad Want getting well, but they're also getting instructions mm. from him, or work-ons as Bernard called them. Uh, I mean it's this very isn't rare. It's very rare to have a coach. I think he's probably He's definitely the best tag coach in the world. I think Wayne Smith, um, you know, maybe up there. Up there. Mm -hmm. But he's just anyone who's ever worked with him just leaves, uh, leaves the training or leaves the presentation, going, "Wow, I'd like to work with him." And there, apparently, there has been a spring in their step coming down from Ulster, mm. coming up from Munster, that wanting to work with this guy. With the World Cup in mind, though, that's what he—that's what we're trying to create that yeah. depth. Well, the processes you referred to that—I mean, you have, you have a twin-track process. You have one starting this weekend and one, 18 months away. Okay. Well,